We've read the headlines and heard the horror stories about a synthetic drug nicknamed bath salts. Videos have gone viral of users hallucinating, stripping down, displaying violent behavior, even injuring themselves. But despite these disturbing videos, bath salts remain popular amongst teens and young adults. Our next guest's experience with this drug caused her terrorizing hallucinations. It even took her to the brink of death. When I was 18 years old, my boyfriend ended up leaving me for another girl, and it made me very depressed. I was hoping binging on bath salt would numb me, make all the pain I was feeling go away. I always thought I heard sirens, lights flashing. I would always look out the window. She didn't really want to be around anybody that much. She stayed to herself a lot. I was living at my dad's house. I had been binging on bath salts for five days. It was just me by myself at the house with my cat. I just decided to snort a whole vial of bath salt in one setting. I kept hearing my boyfriend's voice saying how much he hated me, how I should kill myself. I ended up trying to stab myself, trying to knife after knife. I didn't have the guts to do it and decided to break into my dad's room. He had a few guns in there. I grabbed the first one. I tried to cock it back and the bullet got jammed sideways. I ended up grabbing the second gun so I couldn't get to work. I got the last gun, I shot it. It went straight into my jaw. It felt the most searing, hot pain in my face. It fell to the floor. I could move my jaw from side to side. I had blood coming down my shirt. I was freaking out. I thought that my boyfriend had shot me. I kept hearing his voice. It sounded like snipers were coming after me. My mailman heard me screaming, talked me out of the house. I told him somebody shot me. He ended up calling the cops. They shut down the school right next to my house because they thought shooters were around the place. They put me in the back of an ambulance and they rushed me to the hospital. Once I was in the ambulance, it clicked in my head what had happened. I did basketball and I shot myself. When I first got the phone call and I heard that she had been shot, it was just sheer panic. When I walked into the room, her face was so swollen, she was barely recognizable. The bullet shattered her jaw into about 200 pieces. I almost lost my daughter that day. I stayed there for about a week, and then they ended up moving me to a psych ward. She got out and was still struggling. I felt like I was just so alone. I didn't feel like anybody cared enough, and they wanted me to live. She was in for like two weeks. She got out, and she started using it again. Joining me now are Kirsten and her mother, Stacy. Kirsten, I want to ask you, first of all, you know, the first time you used bath salts, did you ever think that you would become addicted? No, I didn't even have any idea that would affect me the way it did. So are you clean now? I've been clean for a year. When you think back, the fact that day you tried three different guns. And yeah, you did shoot yourself. But the fact that you survived, do you think there was a reason for that? My grandma ended up passing away about a month before. My family believes that she stuck around because she knew what I was doing and she kept me safe. And to have my son to this day, I think that's why I'm still here. I want to ask you something personal. I don't know that I've ever asked a guest this because we can go through medical school and we learn physiologically how people become dependent on heroin, why people abuse other drugs that are illegal, but everything that you hear about bath salts, it sounds like an awful experience. But what was it about them that got you in its grasp? It felt great when you first tried it. It felt, you felt good, uh, you felt giddy, happy. Um, it felt amazing, first while of doing it, but after time, started getting more depressed. It started feeling like when you go with so long without taking them, start to get tired and sick feeling, and all you can think of is to do it again, make you feel so much better. And that's how I started getting addicted as I kept going back to it. After a while, I just wanted to keep doing it until finally I just didn't care about life anymore, which made me more depressed, which made me want to do more. You weren't doing it because you were in the least bit happy or enjoying it. it was, this was just, this had become your life. Yeah.